The established way of doing things isn't always the best way, which is why one of the world's largest aid providers has a new way for big funders like governments and also for social investors to get aid directly to people who need it. With zero risk to the big funders, a potential profit for the investors and a guarantee people receiving the aid are getting a better service than before. Give us 90 seconds more and we'll explain. This new way is through a humanitarian impact bond, an HIB. It's being issued by the International Committee of the Red Cross, the ICRC. It will be the largest in the world and the first offered internationally. Now, unlike regular bonds, its returns are unrelated to market conditions, which may be a comfort. Instead, getting money back, ideally with interest, depends on how impactful your investment was when it was used by the service provider. By service provider, we mean the ICRC. Traditionally, they've been paid directly by the big donors that we referred to earlier, such as governments. They're known as outcome funders. But now, these outcome funders and the ICRC together think they have a dramatically more impactful way of doing things. Here's an example. The ICRC knows 90 million people in developing countries are physically disabled and need something like a prosthetic limb or wheelchair. They also know around 90% of disabled children in these countries miss out on school because they can't get around. The ICRC intends to help a bigger share of these people by exploring new methods, technologies and innovations. It will take five years, and throughout, an independent auditor will measure how far resources go compared with previous years. If the ICRC devises ways for the equivalent resource to help more people than before, the outcome funders declare the project a success, and the positive results ripple. The outcome funders pay the humanitarian impact bondholders their money back. If it is a huge success, they pay a premium too, these social investors profit while knowing their money was the catalyst for change. For outcome funders, this approach drastically reduces risk. They only pay when programs are successful. For the ICRC, the HIB means access to new investors and it inspires innovation. But most importantly, for more of the 90 million disabled people in developing countries, life gets better.